Okay. Hi, everybody. William Curtis here. I have a bit of a challenge. I um, was asked to do how technology has impacted my field, which is music production. In three to four minutes, this should be good. The computer has just revolutionized the way we make music. You have to think of 20 years ago, even as early as, as 20 years ago, everything was recorded to tape, so it was kind of performance-based. And if you made a mistake, you had to go back and redo it or do a thing called a punch-in where you try to, you know, just record this certain section. All just lots and lots of technique that is really the computer has just made almost obsolete. Number one, MIDI. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it was kind of the first foray where computers became really the heart and soul of how to do a music production. And the cool thing about MIDI is you're recording just that information, just what notes you're playing, how long you're playing them for, how loud you're playing them. And because it's just data, it's unbelievably and infinitely editable. So I'm going to do a demonstration here. So if I hit record, I'm going to hear a click. That's my metronome. Okay, four bars. And you heard I made a mistake in there as well. Let's take a look at what I recorded here. See the mistake right there? Here's the joy of MIDI. Because it's just information, I can choose the bad note and go bye-bye. Done. Also, because this is just data, it can be corrected, or what's called quantized. So I could select all these notes and go up to a little selection menu and say, okay, auto-correct these to 16th notes. You see how they shift a little bit? So... Playback in perfect time if I want. Another thing about MIDI is I can transpose these notes. You notice how the bottom notes here are right on this F. Well, what if I wanted to move them down to a C? With MIDI, I can just drag all these. So now the bottom notes start on C and the entire passage has been transposed. The other thing about MIDI is, again, because we're just recording data, I'm not married to the sound. I could go through and say, you know what, I would rather this be playing an organ. So I can choose an organ, and all these notes will now play back with an organ sound. Number two, sampling. Essentially think of it as a sound camera. So any sound that we can record We could then put into what's called a sampler and then it could be laid out across a keyboard so we can play it uh, I have a sampler loaded up here and let me Find a piano, okay? So what's happened is there's actually a recording of say every third or fourth key of a piano and now that's been laid out across the keyboard. So I have this lovely grand piano. So number three, audio, okay? So here I have an actual drum track uh, that has been recorded in. I can take a look at this and actually see the audio waveform if I want and play it back. So pretty typical little loop here. But here's the cool thing about what computers can do with audio now. Uh, again, think about with tape, right? If I wanted to edit this, I would have to cut the tape, pull sections out, rearrange them. Uh, because this is just digital information to a computer, it is really easy for us to grab a tool like, say, a scissors tool here and start cutting this up into little sections really wherever I want. And let me go back to my arrow tool here, my pointer tool. And the cool thing is, is now I can rearrange this. I can put these sections anywhere I want.
and I'm just doing this with a drum track. So if I had a vocal part, you could cut out any kind of mistakes. You can edit out popped P's or plosives as they're called. You can edit breath. Do a course once, copy and paste. One of the beautiful things about this is we have the ability, because it's just digital, to make exact copies of this wherever we want. The number four way that the computer has really made our lives better is with something called plugins. What plugins are are basically effects processors within the computer, and they can affect any audio signal. All I have to do is go to an insert on this particular track, and let's say that I just wanted to do some flanging, okay? What is flanging? You'll hear it in just a second. Reverb plugin. What? Too much reverb? Okay, we can dial that back. And all of this is happening within the computer. Number five. Kind of on the same way that we could add a flanger or a delay or a reverb to this audio track, we can also generate sound within the computer. A different type of plugin, this time called a virtual instrument or a software instrument. So here I have this synthesizer. All the sound is being generated out of my laptop. The MIDI keyboard is controlling what notes are being played back, but I can always adjust the parameters just like I could on a real synthesizer. Okay, so I've recorded in a few of the tracks here I did. Uh, so I've got my little uh, drum machine part here with my drum track that's kind of chopped up. Uh, I also did some guitar chords off the sampler and just a simple little bass line. Uh, I can now go into my mixer and kind of spatially move everything. Like let's put the guitar over here and let's bring the bass over here. Let's move the drum machine this way and let's put, so oh, that's my microphone. Uh, let's put the drums a little bit over too. Let's put some real separation on this guitar and bass here so you can hear the difference. So here's the cool part, right? So I've got automation as well. And the cool part is, is I can mix in here, but this is actually going to control the overall volume. Now let's go back to the mixer and watch what happens. You see how my drums are pretty much totally down. And there's an automation mode right here. Okay, it's set back to read automation. So as I play this, let me go back to the beginning here. And you can just see that I can go through and automate everything. And a part of this mixing process is the final thing right here, this little BNCE button. Uh, same thing's up here, it's called bounce. This means that when I have my mix completed, I can hit this button and it's going to render all of this to a two-track file or to an mp3 or I can burn a CD off of it and I'm done. I go on my desktop here here's this little file called bounce and I can open this up and I'm gonna open it with a two-track editor here twisted wave and there's my actual mix so I can start from here and play it back Automation and everything happens. Computers have made this phenomenal, phenomenally easy. And I know I've gone way over time here, and uh, I apologize, but there's just so much cool stuff. How has it changed everything? It's changed everything. This is used in every type of music that you hear. Country, metal, pop, techno house, whatever. It is used in every single piece of music being made today. That's how technology has changed my industry. All right, guys, I'm going to go through and do some edits on this and send them out. Thanks for listening. Take care.